Good morning everybody and welcome to a very very cold uh, West Hill Swing Studio this morning. Uh, I think I'd better uncover a little bit oh, just to make sure you can hear me properly. There we go. Okay so today I'm going to talk about a key uh, part of your setup position which could help people who potentially uh, pull the ball to the left, slice the ball to the right, sometimes hit top shots or fat shots or just generally feel that as they swing through the ball that their weight tends to end up back on their back foot. All of these things can happen from this key fundamental error that creeps into the setup position. Now we've talked a lot about getting good angles this way with your golf posture, and it's great work if you can get onto those wobble pads and get your balance centered so that it enables you to turn your body around a nice angle in your spine. And we've talked about stretching your hamstrings to help you to get that better angle as well. But one of the positions which is not talked about anywhere near as much is the angle of the body and the spine from the side view here when you take golf setup position. And it's one of the very, very common faults that I see uh, because there are two key factors that ruin it. The first one is that for a right handed golfer, everybody who puts their right hand lower than their left, which you need to do to obviously get it onto the golf grip the very natural tendency is for it to do this to your body. And your, it starts to pull your right side forward because it has to go lower than the left. The shoulders naturally want to stay level with each other, but look what that does to the angle of my spine. It pulls it off left of center. So if I were to now take golf posture, I see lots and lots of players in this type of position where the hips look over there and the shoulders look over there. Now with this spine angle, it is impossible to turn correctly. You're gonna naturally start to go this way and create all those different types of potentially those shots that I described at the start. Quite often people will then, without realizing, correct it and start to get wristy because they know the club's got to get behind them somehow, but they can't get there from this type of setup position. So that's one thing is to secure this right arm coming forward. When you stand up straight, what you want to do is to extend your left forearm. Don't tense your left shoulder out. Just feel your hand is almost being pushed away from you by your forearm muscles here, very extended here. And then almost feel like you're bringing your right hand in from underneath to keep your right shoulder back and low. And now look, you can see that my left shoulder is a lot, lot higher than my right shoulder, but that's enabled me to get my right hand lower down the grip than my left hand without pushing my spine off into the incorrect position. So you can really do some great work in front of a mirror, in front of a reflection in your lounge, getting used to feeling, stand up straight, get this arm extended, the leading arm extended, and then feeling this shoulder is slightly lower Bring the hand in without the shoulder coming forth, forward or up, just keeping it soft and back. When you put that down on the floor and look up at the target to your left, you will probably feel that you're very, very tucked in behind the left side and the left arm will feel higher than the right arm. But if you are somebody else at home or if you just look from side on view in this mirror, uh, looking this way, if you can just see the very top edge of your left forearm, past the top edge of your right forearm, that's going to indicate that your body is parallel, your upper body is parallel to the target. If your left arm was way higher, it would look this way. So it always feels more exaggerated than it looks. So once you've got the arm position correct, which is crucial, the next thing is to get the whole position of your body correct. And the other major reason that this setup position can go wrong for everybody is because 98% of all golf shots are played from the center of the stance towards the left foot. So if the ball is left of center in our stance, even if you get good arm position, everybody's natural instinct when you bend forward is to bend towards the golf ball. Look what happens to my spine if I bend towards something which is left of center. Again, I get this angle this way, which is going to cause all these steep lifting uh, sensations, making it impossible to turn. So it's not just even the bend of the upper body. People even allow their knees or their hips to twist towards the ball left of center, which starts to open you out. So feel it from the ground up. If your feet are pointing at five to one on a clock face, 
Make sure that your knees stay pointing at five to one. Ignore the ball that's over there. Make sure that your hips are facing at five to one. That will always keep your belt buckle facing at 12 o'clock, which most of the time is gonna be behind the ball. And if you think about it, it's gonna be more behind the ball with a driver than it is with a mid iron because the ball position, as it creeps over there, you're still keeping your belt buckle to the center. Then bend your nose towards the center. So what you can do at home is hang a plumb line up, a string with a piece of weight on the bottom, sellotape it to your window or your reflection. You could stand up so the plumb line's going through your nose, through the center of your belt buckle to the dead center of your stance. Get your arm position correct with the, this extended, this soft and underneath, and then make sure that your nose stays on the line as you bend forward, that you don't allow your nose to creep off left of center. And I've done this with so many people, and for them to, to keep their nose on the line, they feel like they're bending this way because they've spent so much of their golfing career going this way, giving themselves an impossible setup position from which to make a powerful turn. So once you've got the arm position correct, your knees and hips are facing the right direction towards the center of your stance, your nose is in the center, it's really important to get used to how this feels, both looking towards the ball, but also swiveling your eyes and getting used to feeling how it looks to, to look towards the target, feeling tucked in behind this powerful left side. And then you can start to tinker and feel how much easier it is to start to make a really powerful turn around your spine into your right thigh from this improved setup position. This could do you a world of good and it's all about getting comfortable with this position so that you can go straight to the first tee and swing freely from it. So that's where your lounge work will do some great work for you. So have some fun with this. Let's have a quick look outside and see how beautiful it looks at West Hill today. Freezing cold but absolutely beautiful. So hopefully we're gonna be seeing you in just a few weeks and enjoy your lounge practice.